All right, hello once again, Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College, and I'm going through a series of videos that I'm creating that are going to explain uh, um, how to create a website. But we're starting out in day one, we're going to just talk about what HTML is in the morning, and then we'll in the afternoon, we'll start building our site. On day two, we'll talk about what CSS and HTML, I should mention, stands for Hypertext Markup Language. On day two, we'll talk about CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets in the morning, and then we'll do some CSS in the afternoon. On day three, we will go and we will work on what's something, a programming language called JavaScript in the morning. I'll give you some examples and we'll talk about it. And then in the afternoon, we'll put that into our website. On day four, we'll try to make the website what's called responsive. Now, if any of these um, days run into one another where we fall a little behind, that's kind of where we'll pick it up on, on day five. And the other thing that we'll do on day five is I'll show you how you can create a website literally in about five or ten minutes by using some drag and drop tools that you may or may not be interested in. Okay? All right. So this is our website. And it's not even really a website. This is just the stuff that we have in here right now. So let's go in and make a couple changes so it looks a little bit better. All right. So let's see. Let's let's first go in and where it says H1, that's kind of stupid. So let's just change that to my first website. How's that? We'll do that. We'll come back in and we'll open it in my life server. It looks a little nicer. All right. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to grab a picture. All right. Now, you can grab a picture of anything you want in here. And I'm going to show you a couple places that you can go to get pictures. Actually, I'm going to show you three pictures. All right. So the first picture I'm going to, or first place I'm going to show you where you can go for pictures is one place I've already gone to. And that is images.google.com. And that brings up Google Images. Nothing wrong with that at all. All right. So again, the first place that we can go to, whoops, if we want to, I'll leave that up there for now. We're going to look at that in just a minute, is you can go out to Google Images. And again, Google Images, if you want to go out there, is right here. Okay. Just images.google.com will suffice. The next place that we can go to is something that's called Pexels. And to go out there, we're going to go out in just a second to pexels.com. All right. So let's bring that up. So I'm going to change this and I'm going to go out to pexels, P E X E L S.com. And you see it says, the best free stock photo shared by talented creators, which means, which means that we can grab these and put them on our website for free. And we don't have to worry. One thing you don't want to do is you never want to go and take pictures from somebody else's site and put them into your site without getting their expressed written permission first. All right. Now, there's another one here, too, that's called Unsplash. And that's the one that we're going to use in just a minute. All right. So I'm going to come in now and go to Unsplash.com. All right. And it's another place that says the Internet source of freely usable images. And you know what? There are other places that you can go to also. But just giving you those right here. That's at least enough to get you started. All right. Now, I've been in Missouri now for about five years. Okay. I moved here from Illinois. And before that, I lived in Illinois and Wisconsin. I'm Wisconsin, born and raised. But um, I have between Wisconsin and Illinois, that's where I had been my entire life. And one of the, 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 the kind of cool things when, you know, came coming in here, was to look at and i went down and visited the st louis arch all right and what there's a picture right so i'm going to grab that picture and the easiest way 
is to just go ahead and click on the picture and it says here's the picture all right now go you go down here where it says download free and it says what size do you want small medium large or the original size I'm just gonna grab the original size and it downloads it in here and it downloaded it into my downloads folder all right and it says hey if you're gonna use this you really should let people know that this is a photo by Tiffany Cade on Unsplash I don't have to copy that because I already have that here so I'm gonna put that in in just a second but I want this picture so I'm gonna click here and it shows me the picture all right now I want to save this so I'm going to right mouse click on the picture and I'm going to choose uh, right mouse click over here and choose there should be a save as there it is and I have to let it know where I want it to go all right well we've got this thing called sandbox and we've got this thing called day one and right now there's just our index file in there, but I'm going to add a folder in here. So I'm going to right mouse click in here and I'm going to choose new folder and I'm going to call this images. All right, and then click on it so it opens. So I'm now in my images folder. Well, you can see what this is called. It's Tiffany Kate, etc. I'm just going to change this to St. Louis Arch. No spaces, no anything dot jpg okay now it says it's saving a copy so if i go back and i look notice that if i look in here now i now have a thing called images that has my st louis arch picture in it there it is all right i don't need to keep that open but i just wanted to show it to you all right i've decided that i want to put that right underneath right underneath my h1 tag that says my website so in order to do that I have to create an image tag all right and I can again use some of the power in this Emmet editor so I can type in IMG and I can hit the tab key and notice what it gives me it gives it says source and it says alt let's talk about both of these the source is the image itself so I've got to go into my images folder slash and notice st louis arch there it is now the alt tag more and more people who are using the internet have either have some kind of an impairment all right or or it'll be something that let, let's say that instead of st louis arch here let's say i, I misspelled this and i put in st louis arc and I accidentally put that in and I'm going to save this okay and I'm going to go back and bring this up in live server and you don't see anything this is the area for the actual picture but since I spelled it wrong there's nothing there all right but it's not what I want I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say alt equals and I'm going to put in here picture of the st. Louis arch all right and i'm going to right mouse click again and choose open with live server and notice now what i get so the alt tag is done for two reasons you put in an alt tag probably more reasons than that but two major reasons either a somebody who's sight impaired and they're using a browser that reads to them will now say picture of the st louis arch so that's one reason and another reason for putting that in there is for what you just saw if the file doesn't exist meaning I either give it a wrong name or a wrong path to the file so that something will show so if I come back in here and change this and I'm going to close both of these here let's see let's go back to here and we'll make it St. Louis Arch again and I'm going to save now lo and behold what happens when I open it in live server there it is in all its glory now it's a big picture all right because I took it at its full size there what if I don't want it to be that big I'm going to show you kind of a cheat way that we can make it smaller all right a kind of a cheat way 
And then I'm going to show you another way tomorrow that we'll use it. But if I if this is way too big, all right. So what I can do is I can come in here and where I have this, I can add some stuff to it. I've already added what's called a source attribute and an alt attribute, but I can also add a height and a width attribute. So I'm going to say width equals, let's say 400 pixels, and don't worry about what that means. And height also equals 400 pixels. Not 40, because that'd look weird. 400 pixels. Oops. Now notice if I save that and go back to live server, it's a little easier to see. And it's actually looking a little bit more like a website. Now it looks like looking at that, that doesn't look like it's scaled very well. And <clears throat> I think we could make that much wider. So you'll see what happens. I'm going to leave that at 400 high, but for the width, I'm going to change it. And instead of 400 pixels, I'm going to make that double that, 800 pixels. And then open it up again with live server. And there you see. Now maybe it's skewed too much, but you get the idea. All right. One thing that we will work on on the fourth day is if I look at this right now and I take my browser window and I start to make it smaller. Do you see how the size of the picture and the text isn't changing? Right now, this is not what we'd call a responsive website. We want it to be responsive. So that's one of the things that we're going to fix as we go on in here. All right. Now, what if what if I didn't want to load this picture? In other words, what if I, I wanted to use this picture, but I didn't have access to it for whatever reason? In fact, let's let's grab another picture. All right. In fact, this looks a little funky, so I think I'm going to do it to try to make it look better. I promise it's the last time I do this. Let's make this the width 600. All right, and let's again open it up with live server. Yeah, I like the way that looks better. All right, but let's say underneath that, I want another picture. And let's say that I want a picture of Bush Stadium underneath here. So one thing that I can do is, where were we before? We went out to... Let's try Pexels this time. We used Unsplash before. And I'm going to say Bush, I think it's spelled right, Stadium. Well, there's a stadium. I don't know if that's Bush or not. So let's try it on Unsplash. Yeah, that's the one I want. But I don't want to bring that picture in. I could bring it in. Totally nothing wrong with doing that. All right. But what I'm going to put in instead is I'm going to right mouse click on here. And I'm going to choose copy image address right there. So it's been copied to the clipboard. Now I'm going to go back to my program here. And just like we did before, I'm going to come in and create an image tag. So IMG and hit enter. Now this is going to change. And instead of putting it in because we haven't saved it, I'm going to put in that address. And this is going to be pretty big. So you can see how big it is. All right. And I'll put in here for the alt, I'm going to say Bush Stadium. Home of the St. Louis Cardinal, Cardinals baseball team. Okay, just like that. All right, and I'm not going to play with the size on it or anything else, but I'm just going to open up in live server. And you'll notice there's my picture of Bush Stadium. 
all right? So I've got both this and this. Now, I could skew this one down and make it the same size as the other one, for example, if we wanted to. We could even put these side by side up here. We're not going to worry about that right now. I'm just trying to show you that this is how we can take a remote image and put it into our system. All right. Let's talk about a couple of other things that we can put in here. Let's, in fact, let's try doing this. I kind of like this picture, and it's taken up a lot of room. I, I, I like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to here, and my first picture that we put into the arch, I'm going to comment this out. The way you comment things out in here is you put in a less than sign, and after that less than sign, you put in an exclamation point, two minus signs. All right? And then you put in two minus signs in a greater than sign. So that's now commented out. What did I just do? Easier to show you. See that? Now I no longer have in here the picture of the arch in my site. All right? Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to pretend, in fact, that let's do, we won't even use this site for right now. I'm going to grab that one, and I'm going to comment that one out as well. I'll just take these three things here, and I'm going to put it over there. So now I have no pictures again. So if I right mouse click, there it is again, kind of what we had before. But what I want to do is it's going to look a little funny and you'll be like why are you doing this you'll understand in a couple minutes i'm going to put in here chocolate chip cookie recipe okay and i'm going to grab the first one i find which is best chocolate chip cookies right there all right now i'm going to see if i can grab this picture so let's, we click on that, and I don't like that, no, I don't want From to, tacos. I don't want you to hear that, I'll leave that right here, let's, I'll tell you what, let's do this, let's, let's, so we can do something a little bit different, let's go out to images.google.com, and let's put in here, chocolate chip cookies, chocolate chip cookies, no recipe, just chocolate chip cookies. And you know what? That's a nice picture. So let's right mouse click on there and let's copy the link address. Okay. All right. Then we're going to come back to here. We're going to put in an image tag. I'm going to, for the source, I'm going to again use a remote. Again, this might be very big. You see that it is. And for the alt, I'm going to have picture of a plate of chocolate chip cookies all right let's right mouse click and choose open with live server well it didn't like something hmm. well let's see if we can fix that and that'll be it for this particular taping. So, I'll tell you what, why don't we just grab this one here? And I'm going to copy the link address again. Oops. See if I can put it in here. I don't know why it would have given me an error, but it did. Save. And try to open again with live server. Wow. Great. Don't know what the problem is. We're going to fix it, though. It doesn't like the way that I'm copying, evidently. So, I'm going to come in here, and where we had this, I'll grab this one, and I'm going to say, 
save image as and we will again save it so i'm going to go to the desktop i'm again going to go to my sandbox day one images and i'm going to put in chocolate chip cookie chocolate chip cookies there okay and then i will come back into here and get rid of all this and for the source again will be images slash and there's chocolate chip cookies all right so picture of chocolate it's not a plate anymore it's a picture of a chocolate chip cookie i believe let's save and now let's see if we can bring that up so there's our picture all right i'll be back to continue in just a couple minutes